to address the issues facing Tennesseans today. From 10 News, this is Inside Tennessee. Good morning and thank you for watching Inside Tennessee. I'm your host, John North. John Becker is off this morning. In local government, many elected officials are responsible for very specific districts. But today we're talking about the bigger picture, the at-large seats on the Knox County Commission. This summer there are two seats coming open and we're going to start with candidates for seat 10. That's Larson J and Tori Griffin. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, so let's talk a little about that bigger picture and what you all can do to make a difference. Uh, Larson, let's start with you. You're the Republican candidate and then we'll hear from Tori, the Democrat. Well, I think it's a really exciting time to be part of Knox County. We have a growing and prosperous community. We have a, a county that is really growing in population and opportunity. And so I've really been interested in running for the Knox County Commission and that at-large seat to start focusing on the big picture, the long-term vision for the next 10 or 20 years, and what we can do to, uh, to really get ready for the growth and the opportunity, but also what we can do to bring new leadership that has education, experience, and, and really uh, a focus on the future of the entire county. And Tori, what do you think? Developers say that our county will grow by 100,000 in the next 20 years. I don't give it 20 years. I should give it 10 to 15. Uh, we see the growth now. Uh, and I think that we need to be prepared for it. And that means looking outside the box for new ideas, number one, to grow our economy, uh, to make sure that the growth isn't disrupting life as we know it. People move to Knox County because of our quality of life, and we want to keep that, but we have to accommodate the growth. We border eight states, and those st states that we border, they have managed to deal with the growth, they've managed to boost our economy, and unfortunately we lose a lot of good people to those states uh, because they've tackled um, the hard issues of how to pay teachers more, how to pay deputies more, how to make sure that uh, we're keeping up with the growth and making sure that jobs are paying people what they're worth and making sure that housing stays affordable. Those are things that we will have to tackle and, and take care of here in Knox County. And uh, the thing that attracted me most to the at-large was the fact that regardless of where you live in the county, you're going to be affected by any change. And so it made sense to uh, jump in an at-large seat, tackle all the issues that we will face, uh, and bring some new perspective to the county commission. Let me dig a little further into this issue of growth. Um, I've lived here a long time now. Um, you guys have obviously some experience living here as well. And what has struck me is, is that right now in Knox County's history, we are in a great spot. Great things are happening, which can be good or can be bad or is maybe both. Great because um, we are seeing more growth. Population is growing. Uh, we are gaining a great reputation on the national platform. Uh, but there are also concerns about how you handle that, how you manage that correctly. Sitting in the county commissioner's seat, how do you do that? I think you are building relationships not only with other commissioners, with other people that are in county leadership, but you're talking to businesses, you're talking to uh, community, uh, making sure that the residents are aware of what's going down the pipeline to making sure they have an input. Uh, we are elected officials and if the community uh, doesn't have a say, if they don't have an input of what they like to see happen in the next 10, 15 years, uh, I think we do a disservice to them. Uh, and I think that's the whole point about local government where people can make an impact. You may not be able to make a, a big impact in Nashville or Washington, D.C., but you can do it at home. And, and so I think those are things that people are seeing as uh, we've noticed uh, the uh, school rates, uh, or not school rates, but the fact that school has, uh, it's a big issue. You have people who live in one district and they have to drive 15, 20 minutes to send their kids to school. Uh, that's a problem and that will grow at, as the county grows. Also safety, that's a big concern of a lot of folks. Uh, do we have enough deputies to protect to protect us. Roads, are roads going to be effective? Because we do have a population growth uh, and more people are driving on the roads than we ever expected, that means you have to take care of infrastructure and that's something that we will have to tackle. Larson, what do you think? Well, I think the, the assets that we have are the people of Knox County and the, and the people of our 
community that are experts in those fields. So one of the things that I've had an opportunity to do is to go to 25 of the 28 Knox County departments or major services to do an educational roadshow, learn what they they know, what are their challenges, what are their opportunities. And what I've found is that we have a lot of really, really talented people who are looking at those growth studies, they're looking at those traffic patterns, they're looking at where populations are moving. And then we have uh, really a, a great county commission and a school board who are looking at the long-term picture. And so I think it's really a matter of, of connecting with the the workforce and, and the experts that we have to really look and start thinking about those 10 to 20 year plans and really get away from the, the politics of usual, which is about 10 or 20 month cycle until a reelection and start really saying, what is Knox County gonna look like a couple of generations from now? And I think with new leaders uh, like Tori and myself and several other people, we're gonna have an opportunity to shape the future of Knox County and not just sort of play the same old games. And I really am excited about of having that conversation and, and saying, what can we do now to get ready for the growth. We are talking with Republican Larson Jay and Democrat Tory Griffin, who are both running for seat 10 in the Knox County at-large commission race. We've got to take a break right now. We will be back. Please join us. <laughs>